application. Here, we will demonstrate how to use the Easy Ring tool. A few pointers to help you to perform the perfect hair extension installations are always remain parallel to the client to ensure that the rings do not sway. Keep hands held down to ensure that the extensions do not poke out. Take care not to capture any stray hairs in the sectioning comb. Clamp the rings tightly. It is normal for the silicon to spill at each end. Although tempting, minimize stroking the hair too much as this transfers oils from your hands to your client's hair. Always ensure the tools are kept clean. Never put tools in your mouth. Ensure that you have a clean working area. Ready? Let's proceed. Apply between 5 to 10 micro rings to the loops on your Easy Ring applicator. Starting at the section at the nape of the neck, position your comb in a horizontal position at the edge of the hairline. Here we are to create another safe zone. No hair will be situated in this area as again, the hair can sometimes be too fragile and this way allows no rings to be seen on an updo. Taking the tail of your comb, draw a straight line adjacent to your pattern approximately half a centimeter in depth. Shuffle your section comb into place and secure with two gold clips. Align your Easy Ring applicator tool with a spacing on the comb. Take your third gold clip and push through the loop closed. Open once this is in the loop, grab the hair and pull it through slowly, opening the clip to ensure it doesn't snag the hair. Repeat for the remainder of the loops. Ensure the unit is held flat to the scalp. Get your slider and glide it along the rings, capturing one ring at a time. Push the slider towards the scalp whilst pulling the unit downwards towards the floor. Ensure that you are not holding the hair. If the rings do not go up at this stage, this means that your section size is too deep. Please revisit and amend. Hold the rings beneath the sectioning comb with your fingers. One at a time, add a slick tip hair extension into the center of the ring and clamp tightly before the stem pops out of the top. Ensure that your hands are held down prior to clamping. Repeat this process for each loop. Carefully remove the section and comb. When you get to the end of the roll, lift the hair up to ensure no rings are visible. Unclip the hair from the Zulu knot. To begin the next roll, align your tail comb with your previous pattern. Measure a straight line, half a comb width in depth. Clip the remainder of the hair back up into a Zulu knot. Repeat the installation process until you reach half head zone. When you get to this area, unclip the remaining hair from the Zulu knot. Get the client to shake her head. This is where we can assess how the installation is going and ensure that we're not entering any double crown territory as the case may be with some clients. Continue to walk up the hair shaft. At the second row of the safe zone, apply extensions two fingers in from the hairline. At the end of installation, gently massage the scalp to ensure that the client doesn't have any cross hairs or any irritability. Get client to sign off consultation form to confirm she is happy with the installation. <music>